everyone, my name is Gabe Blair. I am the student body president at Mojave High School. Uh, right now we're in our football field where we're hosting the Wall That Heals. Uh, it's a replica of the Vietnam Memorial Wall uh, stationed in Washington, D.C. Um, and we're going to have it here for four days and three nights, and I'm very excited for uh, all the people to turn up. I know we got a lot of community people coming out, a lot of veterans, and I, I know it means a lot to them, so I'm very excited to see how that works. Um, we got a lot of work done today. Um, all the work done. We had uh, started by staking in uh, the frames um, and then assembling them, uh, screwing them in, and then carrying these very large plates to stack up against the wall. Um, all in all, it was a lot of work. It's been a lot of hours, but I, I definitely think the outcome was worth it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, we had a lot of people turn out uh, to come help us and uh, Kiara will talk about that. We had um, community members from around the area. We also had Coach Vera's class and his um, construction come out. And then we also had some ROTC as well, as well as the staff for the Wall That Heals come out. We want to say thank you very much for all of our sponsors and all the help from the community. As you can see behind us, the final panel for the, uh, the Wall That Heals is going in right now. And uh, then we're going to take a large picture. It'll be open in the next couple of hours, probably by four o'clock. So we are excited to have uh, the community come out and everybody from the region come down and uh, experience the wall that heals shortly. Um, as well, I just want to point out that the kids here did a, a whole ton of work today. From eight this morning right up until we're done here in the next couple of hours, they've been 100% um, putting out every effort they possibly could in getting this event set up. So hope to see you here shortly. I'm Kimmy Clark, I'm a senior class representative and we have an opening ceremony tomorrow at 8 o'clock and we hope to see you there.